What's the first thing you think of when you hear $300 million? I'll tell you what we think. Absolute absurdity. Honestly, who needs $300 million? I gave it to Ted. Maybe Shakira should give it all away to the poor. No, that's a joke. Because handouts create lazy people and we don't need any more of that. This Latin goddess actually spends her money on all the things that you and I would spend our money on. Like ridiculously overpriced fashion, mansion so big that she'll never see the inside of every bedroom, or even bathroom as you'll see, and yachts the size of many cruise ships that she sells over to her private freaking island in the Bahamas. But relax, because she is quite the humanitarian herself. However, let's be honest, it's just not as fun to talk about. And since we're being honest, have we all forgotten that her hips don't lie? Shakira is synonymous with belly dancing, and the world is a better place for it. But it's what she wears when she's belly dancing that makes all the difference. If you were to see Shakira walking down the street, you'd immediately know who she is. Okay, so we rehearsed for our tour, so we decided this was the perfect environment. Unlike other singers who start to look um, worn out over the years, she seems to maintain a stunning down-to-earth look everywhere you see her. Music videos, performances, walking the streets. I I'm just gonna say it, she looks great. However, there is one concern. According to her birth certificate, she was born in 1977. Now, either the doctor wrote down the wrong year or she discovered the fountain of youth and she's keeping it to herself. Either way, we dig it. But seriously, she makes 46 look so damn good in her signature crop tops with her curly blonde hair and my favorite low-rise pants which certainly helps show off her hips when she's belly dancing. Her insane fortune is no surprise considering that she has over 70 million records sold worldwide, hundreds of tours and concerts, collaborations with big names like Pepsi and Oral-B as well as other ventures outside the music industry. With enough money to live in any city in the world, Shakira has bought her share of multi-million dollar mansions all across the world. Her first known mega property was a large farm located in a small village in Uruguay. In the early 2000s, it was a romantic getaway spot for her and her boyfriend, Antonio de la Rua, son of a former Argentine president. No big deal. The stunning views, exterior amenities, including a pool, tennis court, and lake, plus over a dozen acres of land and greenery, make it the perfect spot for relaxation and romance. The only thing missing was a pickleball court. And if you don't know what pickleball is, well, you're simply missing out. Anyways, it reportedly has a main house with four bedrooms, a gym, movie theater, a guest quarters with two bedrooms, and one standalone building with a single room. We aren't sure what the standalone room is used for, but there are reports stating that it's where all the magic happens. In 2008, the singer retreated to this serene location in search of creative inspiration for her music. Sadly, in 2010, the couple who always looked adorable in pictures went their separate ways. I mean, why date the son of a president when you can marry a professional soccer player? And that's exactly what she did when she married Gerard Pickwick. The couple lived in an obnoxious 15,000 square foot Barcelona mansion with only seven bedrooms, two kitchens, just in case you're too lazy to walk to the other side of the house, a gym, sauna, and a pool. The couple reportedly purchased the mansion in 2011 for 5.4 million. However, the three floors, stunning interior, large windows with an awesome view of the city could not keep this couple together. After 12 years together, they decided to call it quits, and we all know what that means. The mansion is for sale, and Shakira is back on the market. Oh, and did we mention that she has her own island? Calm down, we'll get there. But what does Shakira do after the divorce? She subscribes to our channel to get an ego boost and thumbs up this video so others can see it, of course. And so should you. But in order to give more context to that question, we have to travel back in time to 2001, 
when Shakira purchased another insane property, and this time it's in none other than Miami Beach. When you buy a house with more bathrooms than bedrooms, you either have a serious stomach problem or you're doing something right. At 3.4 million, this 8,400 square foot home features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a pool, and a dock. She reportedly lived there for over a decade before deciding to put it up for rent in 2013 for a small price of $45,000 a month. It's possible no one was crazy enough to rent it for that amount because just a few months later, she put it up for sale for about $13 million, giving her almost $10 million in profit. But to her luck, nobody bought the house, and the price of admission just kept going up. In 2015, the price increased to $14 million and $16 million in 2021. With the recent divorce, it seemed like this was a blessing in disguise, as the singer and her two boys will have a comfortable home to return to after the split, and she also intends to bring mom and dad with her. As the celebrity couple heads towards Splitsville, folks have been asking what will happen to the fancy properties that they own together. One of these swanky places is a holiday villa on the island of Cyprus. It has a breathtaking view of the sea and is a quiet hideaway from the pressures of being famous. The villa is worth a cool $2 million and has six bedrooms, another eight bathrooms, a wine cellar, and even a private gym. Plus, if you fancy a dip, there's a private pool and a jacuzzi too. But if the separation is too much for the star to handle, she can always jet off to her very own private island in the Bahamas. That's right. Shakira snagged an entire island for herself back in 2011 for a hefty $15 million. She shares the island with two other celebs, Alejandro Sanz and Roger Waters. Rumor has it that the trio plans to turn the place into a luxury resort, complete with fancy hotels and all sorts of amenities. The island boasts several waterfalls, bays, lagoons, white sand beaches, and even some sandy ponds. So if you ever need to get away from it all, you know where to go. At this point, you must be asking, how does Shakira get to her private island? Well, she'll drive one of her bougie cars to the pier or the airport. Which car would you take? The sporty Porsche Cayenne SUV, the smooth riding BMW X7, or the sun-kissed Mercedes SL convertible? But this isn't a car commercial, and they're merely interesting when you have the options of a yacht or an aircraft at your disposal. Shakira doesn't mess around when it comes to travel. Private jets and helicopters are the norm for the superstar when she's touring, performing, or just jet-setting around the world. Back in 2010, she and her now ex-hubby even shelled out over $20 million for a Learjet 60XR that can fit up to 10 people. But what really sets this ride apart is the interior, which is like a five-star hotel in the sky. With a two-bedroom, a dining area, and even a living room, Shakira can fly in style and comfort. Of course, with the couple's split looming, it's unclear who will get to keep the jets. Will it be Shakira or her ex, Gerard Pickway? Only time will tell. But when she's not flying high in the sky, Shakira loves to take to the open seas on a luxurious yacht. In 2021, she was spotted on a 50-foot-long yacht with her partner and two sons, soaking up the sun and making memories. She looked amazing in a green velour outfit that showed off her rockin' bod. It's clear that Shakira knows how to live the good life, no matter where she goes. Shakira is not only a sensational musician, but also a big-hearted humanitarian. She founded the Pies Descalzos Foundation back in 97 to provide education and nutrition to less fortunate kids in Colombia. And if that wasn't enough, she has been a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador since 2003, fighting for children's rights and encouraging access to education. And the awards keep rolling in for Shakira. Not only has she wowed us with her musical prowess, but she's also received recognition for her philanthropic work. She's been named the Latin Recording American Person of the Year and received the United Nations International Labor Organization's prestigious Crystal Award. It's crystal clear that Shakira is more than just a musical sensation. She's a global force for good, inspiring people all over the world to make a positive impact. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more delectable content.